out, ladies and gentlemen. You will not eat beef and you'll be happy. You'll drink water made from human poop and you'll be happy. These are some of the new agendas our globalist overlords are, uh, are suggesting for us mere underlings. Stick around, we'll talk about it tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about, um, you know, some of the latest health and um, well-being advice that have come down from our globalist overlords at uh, Davos um, through the mouthpiece of Bill Gates. Uh, he has been vocal, as usual, suggesting um, great new um, kind of edicts that we should all should adopt. One of them is that we shouldn't eat beef anymore. Um, he believes that's bad for us, that we should eat artificial beef. Um, of course, uh, you know, like any edict from the globalist, it means you should usually do the exact opposite. That means you go out to get yourself a nice big juicy steak and have that. Obviously, we all know that um, having, uh, um, you know, at least some element of beef in the diet can be very healthy. It's very good uh, for a number of reasons for people. And if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, well, you, you would disagree. But I think people should have that choice. And it shouldn't be for something to them from the kind of uh, globalist elite class. Um, you know, out of a place like Davos or the Bilderbergers or whatever you want to talk about. And another thing is drinking um, water um, uh, made out of human poop. Um, there's an interesting documentary uh, about Bill Gates on uh, Netflix. I recommend you watch it. Uh, it's, uh, it talks about, you know, Bill Gates is like, I mean, clearly Bill Gates is a genius. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's a genius. But, like, the um, interesting thing about him is that he reminds me of a HAL 9000 computer um, from 2001. Uh, he talks about his own brain as being a huge microprocessor. And I do think that that, that comparison is, is probably interesting. But, and he, I think he even compares himself to the HAL 9000 computer. But the interesting thing is, remember what happened to the HAL 9000 computer? The HAL 9000 computer made a mistake. And of course, when the HAL 9000 computer made a mistake, he couldn't handle that. And he began to become, began to make a whole bunch of mistakes. I think what we've got with Bill Gates is something like that. I think the guy has a computer-like brain. He's made some kind of mistake, which is probably what happened to him at the end of the 90s, because he was basically foiled from his monopoly uh, at Microsoft. And that's when he went into the whole um, vaccination thing and we started the Bill and the Melinda Gates Foundation. So I think that's probably where things went wrong with Bill Gates in the sense he was pursuing his kind of, um, you know, natural kind of, um, what you call it, monopoly, um, you know, which I think felt natural to him. And then he was foiled by the government in the United States, um, you know, with the, uh, the kind of prosecution they brought against him. And then things sort of began to go wrong. And, then, you know, I think this is where he began to kind of, you know, have a kind of a god complex and um you know obviously that went far beyond microsoft and now you know obviously he's he's, he's the global czar who speaks out on vaccines and now he's recommended we don't eat meat and he recommends you know drinking water made out of human poop or at least uh, at least for third world countries where it's a problem but one of the things that's often not mentioned is why don't we use desalination plants and um we talk about it in australia i mean we have such a huge amount of um land in this country why aren't we um you know like de having desalination plants in in, in you know uh, queensland and in um uh, perth around there western australia adelaide and then pumping the water into the middle of australia and creating a vast kind of bread basket we could feed the whole world in this country if we did that it would only take about five or ten um desalination plants to really um do a tremendous job and also better using irrigation from um massive water reserves up in uh, up in queensland would um that could be funded right down to New South Wales, even Victoria, would really open up a lot more land to farming and stuff. And this is what we should be doing because obviously we're heading into a global um, food uh, shortage. Um, obviously, I think it will be deliberate, something the globals will create. That's another interesting thing. Bill Gates has bought up a whole bunch of farmland in the United States. So, you know, this is something I want you all to be thinking about. And, um, you know, I think Bill Gates is just like a supercomputer that's maybe gone wrong. He's just giving all this kind of ridiculous advice. And I think we... Uh, we need to think for ourselves and, uh, you know, uh, and begin begin resistance and begin resisting these kind of um, elite uh, um, edicts that come down via Bill Gates or any other major globalist figure like Schwab or Soros or any of these assholes. So that's what I wanted to say tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.